Well, hello and welcome. My name is James Martinez. I am the University of Houston College of Pharmacy Admissions Counselor. Uh, and today we are working on our interview research project with faculty members uh, to discuss the benefits of research opportunities here at UHCOP. Uh, and joining me today is Dr. Abagash. If you would, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Susan Abagash. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Pharmaceutical Health Outcomes at the University of Houston College of Pharmacy. Perfect. And Dr. Abagash, if you would, uh, talk to us a little bit for students who are interested in conducting research. Uh, talk to us a little bit about does their focus need to align directly with your focus uh, or can they be in an exploratory phase? I often meet with incoming students who they know they want to do research, but they don't know exactly what, how, and where. So can you talk to me a little bit about uh, do they need to have the same focus as you or can they be in, a, in, an, in an exploratory phase? Uh, my research focuses on uh, evaluating and implementing interventions to enhance medication adherence uh, and subsequent health outcomes. That's what I focus on. And when I do work with a student, I tend to work with a student within my research area. So they usually have an interest uh, or are willing to work within my research area. Uh, however, when I'm approached sometimes with a from a student that uh, expresses a desire. Sometimes they have a personal reason for having a desire in another research area. Uh, what I try to do is connect them with another faculty member who has expertise and interest in that research area. We have a large number of faculty within our department and other departments uh, with uh, a wide variety of interest areas. So it's usually not very difficult to connect them with someone um, with a similar interest. Perfect. And yeah, so to follow up that, how do you encourage uh, students to get involved in research? Um, I teach in the literature evaluation course. It's an introductory course, I would say, with that's the first introduction to research topics, whether it's statistical analysis or uh, uh, research design. Um, so usually students who are interested either email me or approach me after class and ask, you know, if they, if they can participate in a research project. I also teach in the communications class. I teach the motivational interviewing strategies. Uh, motivational interviewing is a way uh, for students to uh, talk to the patient in a collaborative manner that is known to uh, in change behavior. Um, so I use it frequently in my interventions to enhance medication adherence. So um, that's something I frequently use in my research and students sometimes participate in. Awesome. And, and what skills are necessary for students to get involved with, with research with you or for other faculty members? I think uh, the most part it has to be, um, they have to be driven. It's a time commitment. Um, they, you know, in addition to the significant load that they already have in a PharmD program, uh, so they really have to want to do it to be able to be persist to persistent to participate in research. So I think you just need a driven type of uh, student. Okay, perfect. And then, um, so we, we talked a little bit about what skills do students need in order to get involved with it, but what skills will they gain in conducting research uh, in your experience, either with you or, or, or with others? Um, I can mainly talk about my experience, and it really depends on the project that the student ends up participating in. Um, I collaborate with a Medicare Advantage plan, Cigna Medicare here in Texas, and we work together to improve the health outcomes in their population. And a lot of my interventions are conducted within that health plan. So we have API students uh, who rotate in the health plan in their final year. And a lot of those students actually participate in the implementation of, of a lot of these interventions. Um, we target usually patients with diabetes or hypertension or hyperlipidemia to improve their medication taking behavior. Um, so usually I, I train these students before they go on their API rotation in motivational interviewing strategies. And um, the training involves practicing with different actors as patient actors with different scenarios for different barriers of medication adherence um, before they go on the health plan. And uh, I usually have a uh, graduate student who analyzes the data before they go on from the health plan to identify the patients that are in need of such interventions before they go on the health plan so we can target those patients. 
So you can see that there are many aspects of the project and they participate in one aspect of it. Um, other projects, I've had students involved in review papers where they review literature, work with a graduate student sometimes, um, or in participate in manuscript preparation. I've had projects in San Jose Clinic, which is a clinic that serves um, uninsured patients. So we've collected survey related adherence from survey data from that, from patients who um, receive care at the clinic. And um, some of the PharmD students learn skills in coding so they can code the survey data into an Excel sheet so we can be able to analyze it, which is usually conducted by the graduate student. Um, there are other projects where I work with Dr. Trivedi. She's in another department. She's a cancer researcher in the PPS department. Um, so we collaborate to actually improve medication adherence among cancer patients. And we've worked on projects where uh, there was a PharmD student at Methodist Hospital. So they extracted the data from the EPIC system there that we worked with to analyze also involving a graduate student. Um, to look at medication adherence along, along uh, from breast cancer patients who are using oral aromatase inhibitors. So it really is dependent on the project, what skill that patient, but they do get some research exposure, whichever project they end up working on. And, and to kind of add to that, um, as we kind of close it out, um, what, what are some additional benefits from the research that they will do as a PharmD student that will benefit them in their career as they progress through uh, their, their PharmD journey? Yeah, um, the way I see it as a PharmD graduate, there are many career paths that you can take and a research career is definitely um, one path that you can take or you can have some aspect of research within your career. Of course, having a research career career will require further training beyond the PharmD degree, whether that's a graduate degree or a fellowship. But getting that early exposure can, um, can really let the student envision what type of, what research really in, you know, entails. If it's something they like, it can ascertain that interest and see if that's something they'd like to pursue. And you know, they gain a few skills along the way. If it's, um, a very driven student, you know, they can end up with a poster that they can present in a meeting or uh, a manuscript which really looks good on your CV. Uh, at the same time, uh, for me, the motivational interviewing that I teach is a skill that I hope they can carry um, wherever they go, wherever they end up practicing and really use it to improve their communication with patients. Ultimately improving uh, patient outcomes, which is what we try to do. That's right. So in, in, in closing up, is, is, there, is, is there anything else that you would add for students, um, either research related or any advice, any tidbits that you could give uh, incoming P1 students or prospective pharmacy students? Is there anything else that you would add for them as they pursue PharmD? You know, I would encourage them to talk to um, graduate students in different fields. They can get really um, a different view of things as well. Um, and also see if that's something they'd like to pursue. Maybe talk to residents. Uh, talk to, I, I think that um, the face of pharmacy has changed. It's not just retail pharmacy. There are many, many options. And even as a researcher, you could be working in a university or you could be working in a pharmaceutical company. So really getting exposure to what this means and what it entails is, is very important. And I think uh, you really want to end up liking what you do in the future because it, it, you know, it's, it's success on all ends when you do. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. That's uh, really good information and very insightful uh, as, as we continue to reach out to students. And, and I, I, I'm really excited about this project. Uh, I want to thank you, Dr. Abagash, for joining us. Sure.